to have been misled by these awful people on the internet to such a degree that you end up giving your life for the sake of a fucking prank. And it takes a real fucking psychopath to pull a prank like this. Like, an, it takes someone extremely delusional that to think that this is somehow an okay prank or any anything like that. These fucking pranks are so stupid that I, I just don't understand how someone could be so incredibly delusional. It's baffling. It's absolutely shocking and disturbing that someone could actually think saying it's just a prank would make everything okay. It's fucking wild. Yeah, I wanted to just talk about this story a little bit because for years now I've mentioned how these insufferable asshole YouTubers that command their audience of 11 year olds literally brainwash them into thinking horrible things are okay or normal and that a lot of these kids don't recognize that the shit they do is fake and that's bad and dangerous and this is exactly what i was talking about what we never who are you we saw you filming us we can't have you filming here who, who are you, you what, literally watch we're not who's filming he's, he's doing 60s he's not even filming we can't have it it's it's for the travel vlog we can't have it are you all right I don't like being filmed. We're not, we're not filming you. We, you literally came into our store. Do you guys have any drinks that are vegan? What are they gonna have like? Uh... Well, vegan, so what's the oh, I'm sorry. Do you have like a one I can read? Cause I can't read it on the wall, it's blurry. Is there anything that has like walk in it or something? Or walk or like dirty X or something? I don't, I don't think. Or like, I think I've had juice before. Oh, that's What? Is that your camera? I don't know that girl, I'm being serious. I'm gonna have to ask you. I'm gonna have to ask you not to record me. What are you talking about? He's doing 60, that's a Nokia 6. Guys, we can't have filming here. But can we get complimentary water? I've told you where the water was, but we cannot have you guys filming. Uh, if not. it is going to be a problem, I will have my supervisors come. We already had a word with him. He said it was all right. Did he? I don't know if it's your actual supervisor. Was it the guy in the green shirt? She's called... Then I think we have to talk about a different supervisor. Wait, we so... We don't have one in a green shirt. No, but he's just doing 60s though. Yeah, but I don't want to I know, but he didn't even like and subscribe yet. I know, but we, He well, could put it at 25. Can you show the footage then? We don't have footage. He, it's a VHS tape. We have to go export it at the studio. I know, but like, you guys still came in when you don't There's people myself. that... Oh, we could just leave them all. We're gonna leave them all then, if it's a problem. It is a problem because we have people complaining. Well, we never filmed though. But you went into our store. We it's saw 60 camera. frames per second. We're gonna leave them all, but we're not filming. Can you escort us out? They're taking pictures. What? Are you recording? Or are you taking a picture? We're just asking if you could take us out the mall, please. We just we just offered to leave them all. We're gonna leave. Okay, then go ahead and go. We, but we, we're not from here, so we don't know how to leave. Where's your car? We don't know. Can you just direct us to the garages? Wait, what color are you parking? We're not from here. We don't know. Can you just what take us to? What color did you park in? We don't know. Can you just take us to a garage, please? The garage is right under us or above us. That's why we need to know. Oh, uh, we're gonna try the one under. You're gonna walk over here to the elevators and take them down. Thank you so much. But I think it was a miscommunication. We never were filming you. Well, but cheers. Thank you. Well, because you started filming us, it was for a safety reason then. We only started filming when you started filming because it was for our safety. It was for our safety. Mate, get it on us at least if they're going to record us. So we're doing a travel vlog and this lady thinks we're recording her, but the camera was never on. So I don't know how that works. Can we get an explanation on that? Because it's just 60, it's not even recording. It's just 60, it's not even 70. It's literally just 60 frames per second, it's not even recording. They look like Kyle Walker. We're leaving. How are you doing? Oh, uh, we're just doing a little travel vlog for our family and we're getting asked to leave. What's that? We're doing a travel vlog for our family. Oh. Now, I don't know much about this kid, but he looks pretty young. I'm sure he's still suckling off his parents' finances like a parasite in order to pay for his trips to the hair salon every two weeks in order to match whatever the most trendy TikTok hairstyle is. But I really think he should have saved some of his allowance for a better phone. Instead of just blowing it on White Claw, he probably should have just saved up for a phone that would record in something beyond 140p. This video looks like it's straight from 2009. I don't even know how you have video quality this dog shit, this turbo ass in 2022. 
You have to be extremely incompetent in order to make your phone look this shitty in this day and age. For almost a decade now, I've said multiple times how the worst content on YouTube comes from YouTube pranksters. There is nothing more deplorable, heinous, or dog shit than a YouTuber doing pranks. Watching a prank video is more painful than walking in on your significant other cheating on you. There's only two unforgivable sins in the Lord's eyes, and one of them is watching pranksters. And the second one is not liking anime. It's just so fucking gross. This shit is so bad. It like really fucking terrible. And the douchebags behind the prank channels are some of the most insufferable assholes the internet has to offer. The man who goat seed himself is probably a more likable content creator than the entirety of the YouTube pranksters combined. His asshole has more personality than all of the androids behind these garbage prank videos. It's truly abhorrent stuff. And you know what I'm talking about? The walking around in public and pissing on people's shoes and then saying it's just a prank bro so they can't get mad at me and if they get mad they're the bad guy i'm the victim here i told him it was a prank i don't know why he's upset i just spit in his face that kind of douchebag. Or swapping grandma's medicine out with ketamine gone sexual. The worst people on the internet are the ones that are pulling pranks. Now, of course, they're all fake, but not every child knows that. 20-year-old kid in Tennessee who grew up watching YouTube pranksters and aspired to be one himself. But he was never in on the joke. He never believed Santa Claus was fake. He thought the pranks he was seeing was real. And he had a plan to become a YouTube sensation prankster. Only ladies can 